good morning uh, to all education fraternity of country and also to the authorities of uh, the NEET 2024 examination. I have few words to say about this NEET 2024 examination. In general, NEET is a highly competitive exam in the country. That is, 25 lakhs of students are taking the examination and the overall seats are 1 lakh 2000 or 1 lakh 4000. If ever we take uh, A category seats into the view, it is around some 65 to 70 thousands. So, if we consider this A category seats and the number of aspirants, the ratio, possibility ratio for getting into the medical college is 1 is to 45. That means for every 45 students who are competing uh, or who are writing the NEET examination, there is a possibility for only one student to get into the medical college. Means out of the 45 aspirants, one aspirant will be getting into the medical college in A category. That means how competition it is. And after the intermediate, students are in the, their early young stage. So, at this stage with a lot of uh, expectations, with a lot of aspirations, they will take all these objective examinations. So, accordingly this year students took the exam, that is NEET 2024, with the same expectations. And there is nobody, the students are doing lot of hard work not just for the two years of intermediate, even in the schooling also they are preparing themselves to larger extent to get into the best of the best medical colleges. If you take the AIMS Delhi, each and every medical aspirant will dream to do MBBS in AIMS, medical, that AIMS uh, New Delhi Medical College. So, that is the craze for MBBS course and that is the dream of this 25 lakhs of students and all these students took the exam on the same day. So, this is about the NEET 2024. So, fine. So, all the students took the exam on this 5th May 2024 and all the students need to thank that NTA for conducting the NEET examination peacefully. Everything went well. But there is a small concern for most of the students and also parents and also teachers because the success of the student in any of the objective examinations involves that means the people who are involved in that success are the student directly, the parent and the teacher indirectly. If anything goes wrong, or if there is anything requires some, uh, some discussion is happening, then the teachers, students and the parents will really worry about that. Because the student, uh, what will happen is, in the present scenario, there will be a cutoff. Suppose if the cutoff is 5-10 marks, if a student gets 5-0-9 marks, then student cannot get into the medical college. So, cutthroat competition is there. So, in this cutthroat competition, every mark, every question counts like anything. So, in this scenario, even if there is a controversy with one question, one question, it will make a great difference. And one of such instances occurred in the NEET 2024 is in the physics, in the code T3, question number 25 and uh, two statements are given, the wonderful statements and every student uh, uh, knows the answer for that, but uh, there is some ambiguity. The reason for the ambiguity is, in the latest version of the NCRT, they changed. Till 2022, till 2022, in the summary of chapter atoms, they have mentioned that atoms of each element are stable and emit their characteristic spectrum. And generally what will happen is after the 10th class, most of the students will buy the two years of NCRT books. 
and they will go, they will prepare from those NCRT books. But once the N NCRT revised the uh, version, then naturally we need to look into it. That is practically, but theoretically it would not happen in many cases. Students because of the non-availability of the latest version, they are studied older version only and teachers, generally the habit of the teachers is they will carry, they will have one textbook and in the textbooks only uh, at every page they will make some notes, even if the latest version comes, revised version comes. So, they may see the revised version, but still they will be going with that older version only. So, if there is any change in the revised version that change will be implemented, but the problem is the change is only each and most, this is a small change and it is a physics exam, it is not a linguistic exam. So, as it is a physics exam, generally the words like each and most during the explanation it will happen, but when it comes to the testing, it is not a justice, not a good thing to ask the student to judge, that means to go with uh, dictum, that means here the statement to either student should say it as right or student should stay, say it as a wrong, one of these two student must adopt. Had it been a general statement, no difference, but it is a specific statement and getting the marks, losing the marks depends upon taking this as right or wrong. And in the old versions, it is mentioned that atoms of each element, each element are stable and they have studied that and the teachers explained it. Though the teacher knows, though the student knows that it might be wrong, but if you look at the history of uh, uh, final key selection by the NTA, in most of the cases it stick to what is there in the NCRT. As it stick to what is there in the NCRT, then the teachers explained that atoms of each element are stable because this is given in the chapter atoms and this statement is given after the Rutherford's and after the Bohr's theory explanations, then that based on that they considered that it is a stable, it is the right statement and the teachers explained that and the students studied that and it came in the examination, they marked it right. And NTA may, con may also consider this as a right statement, I do not know. Many students do, do not know, that is they may take this as a right statement, wrong statement. But after the exam is done, there are several, there, there is a much a discussion on this. Some are quoting that uh, it is uh, mentioned in the revised edition that uh, atoms of most elements are stable. So, as it is there in the revised edition, now the students uh, followed the old version of NCRT now are in the doubtful whether NTA will give this as a right statement or wrong statement. By looking at their anxiousness, their tension, I am coming to you with uh, this uh, video. Now, what students make this statement as right or wrong, you just please keep it aside on the humanitarian grounds, on the humanitarian grounds that too this latest version happened last year only. So, as the latest version is that means revised last year only. So, much awareness is not created to the students and this lecturer's fraternity. As the much awareness is not created, taking the rural background of this big country, wherein the availability of the books is not, the, is not to that extent. And that too, one mark difference may make the student to wait for one year to realize their dreams or to get into the medical colleges. By considering all these aspects, my sincere request to all the authorities re related to this question, that is either delete this question 
or give an add mark to this question. If you can do like that, then the students that means they are the younger generation of this country, not one or two students, it is a 25 lakhs of the students, 25 lakhs of the students will keep their faith, will, will do not have any doubts or any uh, suspicious things on the, uh, the system that wantedly just each is replaced by the most just to check whether we are reading it line by line word by word in an exam which will decide the fate of mine. My, this is the, the exam which will decide my chances of getting into the professional colleges. Had you been created awareness on the revised versions and what changes are made? Had you been given this question after 2 or 3 years, then definitely that action would have been justified. In the very first year of a revised edition, by giving the same question just by changing the word each and the most, we feel is not that justified. Let us not uh, punish, let us not make their dreams unrealized just because of uh, this small thing. So, my request to all authorities is either please delete the question or give by considering the 25 lakhs of younger generation students in view. Thank you all.